currently, there's only one approved evidence-based treatment for outpatient COVID, and that's monoclonal antibodies. And it's complicated. It's logistically complicated, requires multiple injections or an infusion, typically requires for the patient to be set up in an infusion center. So it's not a simple thing to do. So what people have been hoping for was a pill that a doctor could prescribe at a pharmacy if someone gets COVID, particularly a high-risk patient. So Merck Pharmaceuticals and one of their partners has developed a pill called Molnupirnavir, and they were doing a phase three trial. And whenever you do a phase three trial, you have a, a, a safety monitoring board, an independent safety monitoring board was looking at the data coming from Merck and, and showed that it really seemed to save lives. And so they stopped the trial early, not because of a negative uh, issue. They stopped the trial early because the results were so positive. They thought it would be unethical to continue and that they should take the data they have and submit it to the FDA. In general, it's harder to come up with a medication against viruses and bacteria. You know, viruses kind of use our own cellular machinery uh, uh, to, to reproduce and bacteria are independent. You can target bacteria more easily. So it's more challenging to come up with an antiviral. And there's many more you know, antibacterials into bacteria than there are antivirals. Examples of antivirals include you know, Valtrex, which is for herpes, or Tamiflu, which is for influenza. And this new Merck product is really in some ways like Tamiflu. You know, if you have a bad case of flu, and it's early on in the course, you can take Tamiflu and it, it cuts the duration of illness, it cuts the risk of hospitalization and death if you take it early. So the hope is that this new Merck drug, Molnupirnavir, um, would, would be used like Tamiflu. Someone gets uh, COVID, particularly a high-risk individual, call your doctor, they, you know, call on a prescription to a pharmacy, you take the pills, decrease your risk of getting sicker, decrease your risk of being in the hospital or worse. My expectation is that if the FDA approves this under emergency use, it would be for high-risk individuals. Now, individuals who are unlikely to be hospitalized from COVID uh, may not need this medication. Any medication has a benefit-risk ratio. And so for a high-risk, unvaccinated individual, if we can cut the risk of hospitalization or death by half, it seems like a no-brainer if the medication's safe. You know, whenever um, I see uh, uh, one of the public health authorities uh, on TV talking about this new pill, they're always very careful to say this is not a replacement for, for vaccination. And I think people want to be cautious to, to not give the public the impression, don't need to get vaccinated because there's pills around. The pill is new. It's promising. But there's no replacement for vaccination. 